Hey, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stella and I make videos talking about current technologies and how we can use them. Today we'll be talking about what is Laravel and how it is used. So, let's get started. Laravel is a free open source PHP web framework that is used for web application development. Instead of hard coding every line to make your web application, this framework provides you with commonly used functions or APIs, for example, routing or authentication to make developing your web application and handling requests easier and more efficient. When Laravel was being developed, it incorporated security measures to prevent people hacking and injecting harmful code into the server remotely. That is why it is an intermediate system that intercepts all requests and processes and denies access to any of its components. It also follows the MVC architecture pattern, also known as model view control, which is very commonly used right now when designing web and mobile applications. Laravel allows multiple people to work on or make changes to the same table in a database because of version control. If someone wants to access the database, all they have to do is clone the project and run the migration to get all the information they need. So let me give you an example of how Laravel works with MVC. Let's say that the user is wanting to order some donuts from a store. That store's website happens to run Laravel on top of a PHP server. So when the user types in the URL and presses enter, before the website's homepage is shown, the request meets the Laravel framework. Once Laravel recognizes the request for the homepage, it will register them in the routing file to process the request and then it will load a controller. Since the donut homepage can contain many different types of data, for example, today's specials or the different types of donuts offered, Laravel uses an eloquent model to call upon an API to help query through the database efficiently and get the information for the donut shop's homepage. After the information is gathered, the controller will load the view part of the MVC model. This is where the HTML, PHP, and CSS files are referenced to communicate to the web browser of what to display. After that, the user will be able to see the donut shop's homepage and be ready to order some donuts. And that concludes my introduction video to Laravel. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Next week, I'm going to be talking about how to set up and install Laravel on your Mac OS. So if you don't want to miss out, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or even suggestions for future tutorial videos, please make sure to leave them down in the comment box below. Other than that, thank you again for watching my video, and I'll see you next week.